Hey Greg. Yo. Can you introduce yourself? We're yeah. doing a shop tour for Practical Machinists. Who the hell is Practical Machinists? Founded with the belief that American-made products should stay American-made, GroveTech's journey began. Keeping a few of our predecessors employed, GroveTech got to work manufacturing industry-leading products and expanding our footprint in the industry. Fast forward from 5 to 42,000 square feet and from a dozen to over 75 pieces of equipment, we chose diversification. Realizing that it is never good to have all your eggs in one basket, we chose to birth GroveTech Machining, a new, innovative sales channel focused on being at the forefront of the American supply chain and stabilizing our company for the long haul. Where are we at today? We are emerging as a thought leader in our space, quickly evolving as the go-to supplier for precision machining for a number of industries. We now have our own 60,000 square foot building that we call home with plenty of room to grow. CNC department. Uh, CNC is where we run all the difficult jobs that all the other departments turn down. Oh. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> So over here is our wire forming department. We've got two Nielsen four slides and a little torn spring machine. Uh, we make foil and torsion springs for some of our mechanical assemblies. And then the Nielsen uh, four slides are set up for some loops that we manufacture for some of the swing swivels that we make. So. Along that back wall, over there is our finishing department. We've got some MFI tumblers, and then we've got some like uh, uh, less aggressive um, jeweler tumblers, and that's where we uh, finish a lot of our aluminum products and uh, deburr a lot of the components that we make. Hi, I'm Chris, Director of Operations. Pretty much just put out fires all day long, make sure customers get what they need. So this entire department manufactures our locking swivel bodies. So we take an extruded bar and we feed it through two Cincinnati mills. That gives us a blank body that we then run through a transfer table. This was uh, the old 80s version uh, transfer table. And then we also have uh, our new redesigned uh, version of that, which is our Fanuc Robo Drill. And it's basically one uh, robot arm that feeds two Fanuc. The cool thing about this machine is it can run unattended and lights out. We just dump product uh, into that vibrating bowl as you see it's turning there. It's just set up with a proximity sensor. So if it, there's no parts sitting in the tray, it'll just start vibrating and the parts will feed through uh, the different levels and then it'll actually sort to make sure the parts oriented in the right direction. So you can see that here. So as it's vibrating, 
the team is just sorting the parts to make sure that they're going the right direction. So over here is our CNC milling department. We've got three vertical VF2s and one horizontal uh, EC400. And this is where we run a lot of our four axis mill work. So you want to come through here? Kind of see inside here the parts running. Yeah, so here's a, like a brace bar that we're running right now. It's ran out of an extruded. We're drilling and tapping some, some parts on it. Yeah. Over here, we're running some Picatinny rail. Uh, you can kind of see we're set up with some Jurgens uh, quick release uh, ball lock plates. And so we actually have some curb vices and some other uh, vices that can basically just unlock and then mount to this mounting plate for like a quick changeover. Uh, this fixture is designed for this product. Over here is our horizontal EC400. We're running these steel plates right here. Cycling the pallet right now. Over here is our brown and sharp department. I believe right now we have like 22 brown and sharps online. Uh, everything from double lots up to number two. Um, this is where we run a lot of our uh, low complexity. Um, spacers and pins, flanges. Uh, we do a lot of uh, plastic material over here because it's a lot easier because it's uh, more of an open bed machine. So you can pull chips as the machine's running. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm the Brown and Sharp guy. Over here we make all kinds of parts for the company. Brass, metal, steel, aluminum, whatever you want. People come over here when they want to have good parts. If they have questionable parts, they go work on the CNC department. Back over here, we've got our bigger Wickmans. We've got two inch and three eighths capacity, and then one two and five eighths, uh, nicknamed Big Bertha. When that machine uh, runs hex, it gets a little loud around here, but uh, that's where we run the uh, higher uh, production volume screw machine parts. We run all kinds of materials through these screw machines, everything from shapes like hex and square uh, bar stock um, to different kinds of materials like brass and aluminum and 300 and 400 series stainless and a bunch of lead wood. Yeah, so over here is our waste treatment area. We do a lot of re uh, reclaiming of all of our oil. So we spin the chips dry and get all of our oil back to keep the uh, screw machines fed. And we also have a water maze that evaporates um, our old junk, uh, which cuts down on the amount of money that we're paying for the EPA guys to come pick up. So we've got one bowl feeder, uh, or one bowl spinner that spins all of our brass and aluminum chips, reclaims the oil over here for the screw machine guys to come pull. And then all of our steel chips go, go through that conveyor as well. Get a little bit more for having cleaner chips and we get to reuse our oil, so it works out. So over here it can get a little noisy. We've got a bunch of five spindle Davenport screw machines. We've got our one inch uh, Wickman's six spindle screw machines. And then we've got a bunch of 716 action screw machines. And this is where we really run a uh, high production uh, screw machine components. So anything from little pins, uh, specialty fasteners, fittings, hex nuts, you name it. This is where we run a lot of that type of work. I'm Don Miller, I'm the Acme lead. This is my Acme department. We make small parts to medium parts, probably one of the oldest machines in the shop. Uh, the oldest one is from 1942, so we work with some pretty old machines here, but they run very well and stable and hold really nice parts.
tolerances. Uh, plus or minus one, we can hold up to five. Uh, we make the best parts. We do make the best parts. <laughs> we make the best parts in the, in the department. Which department makes the best parts? Acme department. And we're the fastest too. We can make them faster than CNC. We can run them as fast as three and a half seconds. Or even faster. All right. Hey, my name is Roberto. And I work in RobTech. Is that okay? <laughs> what do you do? What do you What do you do here? Set up, troubleshooting, repairing. Uh, repair the heads of the machines. All complete repairing. And uh, almost doing the same job as a leadman. But I'm not a leadman. <laughs> What do you guys make in the Davenport department? What do you do here? What are we doing? Yeah. Uh, machine screws, wood screws, and a lot of different parts that I don't even, I don't even know where they go. <laughs> they just give me the plane and I made the part. Okay. Okay. And uh, that's it. Uh, which department makes the best, best parts? Oh, Davenport. <laughs> Overall, Davenport. We make a lot of parts. Five spindles automatic. A lot of parts. <laughs> Over here is our mechanical assembly department and our soft goods department. So we have a little cut and sew. We can do some contract sewing. And then we also do uh, mechanical assemblies and put some stuff together over here. Over here is our storage department, shipping area. This is where we hold a lot of our inventory. We run to a lot of Kanban, so um, we'll, we'll basically set up and run to a EAU amount of parts, and then we ship on monthly uh, or quarterly releases. So this is where we store a lot of that product. So all of this is our quality department. This is where a lot of the parts come in from the shop or come in from outside processing, get inspected. A lot of the uh, aerospace fairs all get ran in here. If anything requires any kind of special uh, inspection or being ran through our CMM, it's all done in this room right here. So we've got a manual CMM and then we also have a programmable CMM. And we have this little tiny uh, vision optical machine where we can create overlays and check uh, profiles and um, check a lot of things quicker than using uh, traditional hand tools. I don't know if this is worth showing or not, but we do a lot of some prototyping and a lot of times we'll make little jigs or fixtures on our little 3D printer. Hi, I'm Adam, the quality manager here at Grove Tech. We're an ISO 9001 and AS9100 certified company. We're looking to achieve our ISO 1345 medical device standard by the beginning of next year. We have a great team, produce quality products, and we look forward to earning your business. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for featuring us on uh, Practical Machinists. If you want to check out the company, it's www.grovetechmachining.com. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, it's at Grove Tech Machining. Thanks for having us.